Hey, it's Katie, and today I'm making a video about how I'm becoming a moderate drinker quite effortlessly by using the Sinclair method. Um, if you don't know what the Sinclair method is, I made a video about it, which I've linked below, and essentially it's a method of um, using pharmacological extinction to erase the addiction to alcohol from your brain. And you do that by using a medication called naltrexone, which is the one I use, or nalmaphene. So I've been using this method for almost three and a half months now, and it has changed my life. Um, and I want to talk a little bit today just about my experience with it because I've gotten a lot of questions and inquiries about people who are curious about the medication or people who have tried it and they're having a different experience than what I shared in my previous video. And I just want to um, bring this topic to light because from everything I've read, I, I read The Cure for Alcoholism, um, which is a book that goes in depth about um, the studies of naltrexone and um, people who have tried it for alcohol use disorder, and there's just a lot of great information in there. I'd highly recommend the book. Um, and also just reading people's other experiences with it. So I was someone who, the first time I took naltrexone, I noticed a difference right away. I had um, one drink and I was just done. I didn't want to have any more. Um, there are some people who they take the medication for days or weeks or months and they don't notice a difference until an extended period of time has gone by. Um, so we're all just different in ways that we respond, but the medication works for most people. I think studies have indicated it's about 80%, maybe even more people who respond um, positively to this medication. Um, some people might need a, a little bit higher dose, some people might just need more time. It's different for everybody. So um, with that being said, the first time I took it, I did have that um, immediate response. And now after three and a half months, it's been an in general and overall decline in my amount of drinks, the frequency I drink, and the um, cravings for alcohol that occupy my mind where I'm always looking for it if I don't have it, I'm wondering when I'm going to have it, what I'm going to drink, telling myself I shouldn't drink, just this like incessant mind chatter that was nonstop um, when the addiction was really in full effect in my life. So that's the the biggest benefit for me that I've realized is just it's no longer really a thought in my my mind and it's not this like triggered craving where I think about it all the time or I need to have it or I'm resisting it because I've, you know, already had it today or yesterday or whatever. Um I am still drinking and what's happened is I've really just become a moderate drinker and a social drinker. So um, previous to naltrexone, I was drinking pretty much every day. Often I was drinking alone because I liked to drink um, in excess and at my own pace and I noticed when I was drinking with others, um, I wouldn't get to drink like I like to drink. So um, I was drinking alone a lot and drinking in excess a lot. So um, now with naltrexone, I pretty much only drink, I would say actually, yes, it's true, I only drink socially. If I'm going out with friends, we're going wine tasting, going to dinner, having an event or a function or a party, um, those are the cases where I drink. And sometimes I have opted to not drink just because I really didn't want to. But now after three and a half months on the medication, I'm still enjoying the occasional drink out with friends. And on naltrexone, the quantity um, that I'm drinking in a drinking session is drastically less than what it was um, previous to, to naltrexone, but it's also not a consistent amount. So there will be times where I'll take naltrexone and I'll have one drink and I'll just be done. I really don't want any more. There'll be other times where I'll take it and I'll have two, maybe three drinks and that's where I'll be done and not want any more. But I would say um, in the past month or month and a half, I haven't ever had more than three drinks in a setting. And um, it's generally over a longer period of time where before I could easily have three drinks in like an hour or two. Um, now it's like three drinks over four to five hours in the evening. Um, and something else I do notice too is I will... Um, 
have one drink and I won't really want more, but then if somebody pours me a glass and I'm slowly sipping on it, I'll, I'll like subtly get a little bit more of a desire for more and I'll continue to drink more. So it's kind of this like subtle response, but generally um, when I'm done drinking, I get this strong indication of no more and I'm just done and I switch to water and um, it's been great. So yeah, I haven't, there's been a couple of times in the past few months too where I've um, noticed I've gotten a hangover from drinking and I, I've heard and read that the hangovers on naltrexone can be more intense and more severe. I've noticed I become more sensitive to them. So if I am having three drinks and I'm not um, drinking a bunch of water, or eating a bunch of food with it, I do feel a slight hangover the next day. Um, but I haven't had any terrible hangovers since being on naltrexone simply because I'm unable to consume that amount of alcohol to result in um, that type of hangover. So um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give an update about the kind of ins and outs and details of my experience taking naltrexone. I think be we, as humans, we tend to compare ourselves to others and maybe it gets a little bit um, concerning if we're not responding as quickly or in the same way to the medication as someone else's but it's truly a journey and I've, I've read and heard that it can take you know months to years to really realize the full effect of the medication and the golden rule as explained in the cure for alcoholism is to just always take the medication if you're starting the Sinclair method and it's working for you practice this for the rest of your life um, because the way that it works, the, the every time you drink on naltrexone, the addiction um, is erased more and more from your brain. So every time you're taking it and drinking on it, it's working little by little by little. I have given some thought to the idea or the possibility of being totally abstinent from alcohol. Um, it's not something I want to do now just because I really do still enjoy having a glass of wine with dinner or going wine tasting with friends where I live. There's just like an abundance of wineries. Um, I'm really enjoying right now this kind of ease of moderate drinking without the incessant cravings and desire to drink to excess. So this has been the gift of naltrexone that I'm realizing right now and i um, happy to share it with you all and questions or comments please leave them below thank you bye